This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in from a user asking, how can I resolve the tablet services not available error that sometimes happens on ZBrush launch? So here I'm just gonna launch ZBrush over here. And occasionally when you launch, you'll get an error like so. And this is a Win Tablet error, and it's telling you that the tablet services are not available. So if you have a tablet connected to your machine, occasionally Windows will not be able to connect with the driver of that tablet, and you'll get this error. Now you can hit OK, and this will launch ZBrush. But after it launches, if you try to sculpt on your model, you're going to notice you're not going to receive any pressure sensitivity from your tablet. So how can you go by resolving this issue to get your tablet services back? Now the approach that most people take is reinstalling the tablet driver. This will reset the drivers on your machine for the tablet and allow you to restart ZBrush and sculpt as you normally would. This reinstalling of the driver requires you to restart your machine. So this takes some time to do. So there is another process which you can do that doesn't require you to restart your machine and usually fixes the error. So to do this, just hold Control, Alternate, and Delete on your keyboard, and this will open this window. And then you can select Start Task Manager. Now when the Task Manager opens up, you want to navigate to the Services tab here. And then down at the bottom, you have this button for Services, and you just want to click that. And that is going to open up Windows Services. Now with this, we're going to expand it out. And under the Name section, we want to find the name of our tablet driver. So I am currently hooked up to a Wacom tablet. So I'm gonna navigate down to the bottom here until I come across the Wacom professional service right here. Now, we just need to stop our service and then restart it, and that should give us our control back to our tablet. So to do this, just locate the service, right click, go to stop, and this will stop that service on your machine, and then right click again and go to start. Now after that is done, you can close this out and close the task manager, and then we just need to restart ZBrush. So I'm going to come back to my shortcut for ZBrush here and relaunch that. You'll notice that the WinTab service error does not pop up, and now I am back inside of ZBrush, and if I sculpt on my model now, I'm going to get that nice pressure sensitivity. So that is the first solution I'd recommend trying to resolve the issue before you reinstall drivers. So I hope that helps. If you have any additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!